Hey everybody, this is Coach Simo, and this is Surfing America TV. In this episode, we will be covering the U.S. Championships at Lowers, the unveiling of the Pakistan Junior Surf Team, and subsequent workouts to follow, and we had our first prime event at Camp Pendleton DMJs, and the waves were intense. This episode of Surfing America TV brought to you by PacSun, Golden State of Mind. Hey guys, we're back. As we were talking before, the U.S. Championships at Lower Trestles this summer, the waves were firing as always, and we had a big win in the Under-18 Governor's Cup Boys Final. Kano Igarashi, 14 years old from Huntington Beach, surfing up a division, taking a win over a hotly contested final. Down here, thank you so much. Kano Igarashi is just going through probably the best feeling he could ever go through as an amateur, getting his shades ready, his hat ready. You must be, uh, can you even feel yourself? What's going on in your head right now, Kano? Are you sure this isn't a dream? <laughs> You're not dreaming. This is real. You lost in your normal division, under 16, but you wouldn't have it any other way. The Governor's Cup already at such a young age. Oh, I can't believe it. I, just, I did so bad in under 16. I just really, I had nothing to lose, and I just really wanted to do good in this, but I had no idea I was going to win it. Another USA team member, Cameron Richards from South Carolina, ripping his way into that final and holding on to a close second to Kanoa. And in the under 16 boys, we saw local Jake Davis take a win, surfing strong and powerful all week. Big rail carves and big aerial maneuvers solidified his position atop the leaderboard. In the hotly contested boys under 14, we saw an informed Jake Marshall from Encinitas take the win over another Pakistan junior surf team member, Griffin Colapinto, coming in fourth. In the girls under 14, we saw 12 year old Mia Collins take a win and also make the final in the under 16. We also saw Frankie Hara, Pakistan Junior girls surf team member, make the final in the under 18s and getting fourth place. The winners of this year's Governor's Cup were Kanoe Igarashi and Tatiana Weston Webb of Hawaii. The Governor's Cup is awarded to the top male and female athletes in the US championships in the under 18 divisions. Kanoa and Tatiana toasted their win with chocolate milk. Got milk? This year we had the unveiling of the Pakistan USA Junior Surf Team at Casa Romanico at San Clemente Pier. What a beautiful evening. And the team named is as follows. In the under 18 boys we got Taylor Clark, Parker Coffin, Daniel Glenn, Nick H. Dez, Colin Moran, Cam Richards, and Kevin Schultz. A good squad. In the under 16 boys we got Griffin Colapinto, Jake Davis, Kanoa Igarashi, Jake Marshall, Taylor McKenna, John Mel, and Colt Ward. In the girls under 18, we have Quincy Davis, Kulia Doherty, and Nikki Vicens. And in the girls under 16, we have Tia Blanco, Mia Collins, Frankie Hare, and Maddie Peterson. If you aren't aware, we've placed fourth at the ISA World Juniors this year, copper medal, but we're not happy with that. Coach Micah Byrne and myself, we're going to be working with the team on equipment, strategy, stamina, and most importantly, desire, because we want to come home with a gold next year in Nicaragua at the ISA World Juniors. In our first workout at Huntington Beach Pier, we had a great turnout, and we saw Taylor Clark surfing the best throughout the day, taking the win. We also had a girls workout down at Oceanside Pier in preparation for a girls pro event. We invited alumni Kaylee Gilchrist and Chandler Parr to spar versus the team, and we had Nikki, Kulia, Tia, and Mia all surfing very well throughout the day. Hey everybody, this is Surfing America TV, and we have a special guest tonight, Jake Marshall. Jake, you had a big summer this year. Started off with a win in the under 14s in the US Championships. Tell us about that big win. Oh uh, yeah, um, that contest is great. To have a comp at lowers like that um, is insane. You get to do so many like different moves and um, the wave is just so good, especially when there's waves. So it was super fun. Um, yeah, it was really fun contest. And then um, coming to the final, I was feeling pretty good. Um, I had a bunch of good heats throughout the comp, so I was feeling pretty confident. And then. 
Um, I got a pretty good wave right off the bat. It was kind of a slow final, so I, I waited for a while for another wave, and then um, I finally got like a little left, and um, I served pretty good and got the score that I needed to go to first, and um, luckily no waves came in after that, and I won it. Yeah, I remember you started off that heat with a good one and then kind of bookmarked it at the end. Well, after your win at Lowers, I know you had a, a, a long summer with a lot of trips. Talk about some of your epic trips you went on this summer. Yeah, um, right after the USA Champs, I went to the Mentalize with Julian Wilson and Michelle Perez and Matt Wilkinson. And um, I mean, that trip was insane. Wow. It was like the best trip of my life. Uh, you get to see guys like that surf on a daily basis is like just incredible, especially to surf the same ways as them. Um, you can like see them try something and then you can try it and it's just like you learn so much just because those guys are all so good it's, it's insane to watch definitely and then after the u.s open you went on another trip with some of the groms down to nicaragua right yeah i went on a trip with um griffin colpinto Kanoa, Hirashi, seth moniz and josh burke and um that trip was so fun like we went to this wave in nicaragua it was like a beach break and um there's like barrels airs turns like everyone was just killing it it was it was a super fun trip, but like it was fun to go on a trip with all your friends. I mean, that was really cool. It was a great trip. Right on. So you did a lot going to the Menowais. You went down to Nicaragua. Uh, you made the Pakistan USA Junior Team again. What do you think of this new team this year? Yeah, to make the teams um, always a huge honor. Um, yeah, it was a great honor to make the team, and um, the team looks really good this year. I'm really excited um, to be a part of it, and hopefully we can go down to Nicaragua and win gold this year. Yeah, get some barrels too, yeah. huh? <laughs> All right. Who are your favorite surfers? Um, some of my favorite surfers are uh, Dane Reynolds, just because he's just such an amazing surfer. Like he's so good. He can do just about anything he wants on a surfboard. But um, and then Kurt, uh, Josh Kerr, he's um, super innovative for the sport, and um, it's really cool to see someone like pushing the limits of uh, what you can do in the air. And then um, Kelly Slater, he's just uh, I mean he's the best surfer of all time. Like he's won 11 world titles and. Um, it's always like amazing just to watch him surf, especially in contests when he'll be like down or like combo or something, and then you'll think he'll never make it, and then all of a sudden he'll just come back and just win. It's just, like no way. Right on. Well, uh, also you're involved in a literacy program. Why don't you tell the people about that? Uh, yeah, um, I'm in, involved in a program called Read to Lead. Um, it's in a uh, company where they're just in, trying to uh, help kids like read and um, inspire them to read more. Um, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a great company. And I'm super stoked to be a part of it. Um, you should check it out. Yeah, definitely. So check it out. Read the lead, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we are here with Jake Marshall, Pakistan Junior USA Surf Team member. Thanks for the insight and good luck on the rest of the year. Thanks a lot, Coach. Hey, everybody. We had our first prime event at Camp Pendleton DMJs. The wedging lefts were working this week. We had some nice swell. The water was warm around 70 degrees. We had a nice dolphin show out the back during some of the heats. We saw Taylor Clark continue his tremendous run, winning the boys under 18. We saw Parker Coffin and Kevin Schultz making the semi surfing very well, just getting cut short before the final. In the boys under 16, we saw Colt Ward destroying the lefts with his power surfing, and we saw Taylor McKenna from Malibu smooth surfing his way into a second place in the boys under 16. In the girls under 18 and girls under 16, we saw Tia Blanco, new USA Pac Sun junior surf team member, taking the win in both those divisions, out surfing all her competitors. And Mia Collins coming in, making the final in the girls under 18 with a nice second place finish. All right, everybody, and that's going to wrap up the show. Hope you enjoyed Surfing America TV. Stay tuned for next month's episode.